I want to say a little bit more about um, variables and averages. So data comes to us in the form of variables, or at least after we've done the processing and cleaning and so on, we, what we end up with is what we call variables. Now, a variable is just like a list of um, data, which has a name, uh, but to which, which we can refer to it. And each data point, that is each member of the um, variable, is of the same type. I'll be explaining more about what that means uh, later in the course, but it's fairly self-evident. Now, in the present case, the variable we're interested in is called marks. That's the name I've given it. And it has 72 data points, each corresponding to a student's mark in Management 2003, as I taught it in semester two last year. And I've just given you uh, a new statistic here, and that is the size of our data set, uh, 72 data points. Now, most of the time, uh, and this is one of the rare areas where there's some consistency in the use of symbols, most of the time we use the symbol capital N or lowercase n to represent the size um, of a data sample or the length of a variable. So we'll say typically n equals 72. Um, sometimes, particularly if we, we have different variables with different uh, sizes, we may use uh, other um, letters of the alphabet, um, and typically the ones that are close to n in the alphabet, so m, i, j, k. But there's no law that prevents some uh, statistician from you know coming up with something else. So you just have to be a little careful about this. Now, we've talked about the mean and the median. They are both averages. Uh, it turns out there are a whole lot of different uh, averages out there. Um, probably the uh, third most commonly used one is the geometric mean. Um, that's 67.8 marks in our case. Um, there's another one called the quadratic mean, which is used uh, quite a lot in um, statistical um, uh, well, in statistics and in uh, machine learning and prediction and so on. It's also known as the root mean squared or RMS. Um, it turns up in engineering too. And the next most common is probably the harmonic mean, 67 marks in our case. That turns up in quantitative finance and certain engineering um, applications. So although in everyday average, in everyday language, we use the word average, average to refer to the arithmetic mean. In this course, we're going to try to consistently use average as a generic term and use mean for the arithmetic mean and median for the median. In this course, we will make some very limited use of the geometric and quadratic means, but most of it will be kind of hidden. It'll be in some spreadsheets um, that we use. Uh, so where you need to know about them, I will explain uh, their use, but don't, um, don't worry too much about uh, having to calculate them or anything like that. Um, we won't be using the harmonic mean, and there's another one which you used to be used quite a bit in exploratory data analysis called the tri-mean. We won't be using that either. Now, what averages are used for um, in exploratory data analysis is to give us information about the what's called the central tendency, which is a fancy name for the middle um, of the data in a variable. Okay, so the idea is that you can represent the data in a variable by, in some way, by its middle or its central tendency, and that's what averages um, are meant to represent. So if the only information we were given about the marks data was that the median is 65 marks, that helps us form a mental picture where the students in the middle of the class ranking achieved a mid-credit. So just think about that for a moment. That helps us form a mental picture where the students in the middle of the class, if we rank the class from top to bottom, achieved a mark of a mid-credit. And that's the kind of thinking I want to encourage you to do when we are um, looking at these exploratory statistics, okay, is try to imagine them in, imagine them in spatial 
or visual terms. You can imagine lining the students up from the highest mark to the lowest mark and the median tells you which one's um, in the middle. Thank you.